Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up, YouTube? So today we have an unboxing, an unboxing of this here Kunway car and motorcycle battery and OBD2 diagnostic scanner. This version here is a KW870. If you have seen the video that I've done again on a diagnostics, which is a KW808, that one couldn't diagnose the car that I'm actually looking to diagnose, which is a Seaton c3 2006 model and that one couldn't so i figured maybe let me get a later version or the latest version maybe it can do something you know so even this there is later versions than this but they are a bit more expensive so this is was within the price range of what i can afford and it was not too far off price range rise uh, from the 808 that i initially bought so this one here it's actually a two-in-one. It's a OBD2 fault detection uh, scanner. It's a car battery scanner and a motorcycle uh, battery scanner. So it's basically like a battery scanner, you know. So that's why I eventually went for this one. I actually wanted to go for the KW850, but I didn't know about this one when I was looking at the 850, which was also the LA, the latest version than the 808 so at the moment i am hoping that this 870 actually has the features of the 850 they both come with the lcd the 850 and the 870 uh so i'm really hoping it's it, this is the the diagnostic part of this is actually from the 850 i'm i'm really hoping so and that it can do a lot more cars than the 808 so Let's just go through the box, guys. I've already read this part here. So, like I said, it's a two-in-one. So, on the side here, languages. At the back here, let's just go through some wording over here. So, it is a KW870 car and motorcycle battery tester and OBD2 diagnostic scanner. Features and function. Car battery tester. The Kun, the Kun we I hope it's Kunwe or Kunwe. Wee! The Kunwe KW870 car battery tester is able to effectively analyze and read important car data such as voltage, internal resistance, cold cranking amps, and AH capacity, amp capacity, battery health, and charge status. It provides accurate results calculates the cold cranking capability of the battery and the aging extent, allowing for a quicker, more precise car repairing. Uh, okay, for a more precise car repairing. It supports all 6 to 16 volt battery, including regular flooded battery, AGM flat plate battery, AGM spiral battery, gel, and EFB battery, etc, etc. So that is all about the, the the battery tester here and then the car obd2 diagnostic uh, diagnostic scanner the kunwi kw 870 works on all 1996 and newer 12 volt gasoline and diesel that are obd2 compliant it can identify the cost of your check engine light and perhaps fix it without going to see a dealer it, easily, it also assists you in easily passing annual emissions test and smog check, uh, smog check. I don't know what the smog check. It covers full OBD2 EOBD diagnostic functions for engine systems, O2 sensor test, EVEP systems test, and, and bot monitoring test. Uh, what is this? And bot monitoring tests give you full control of your vehicle's running status. While a graphical and numeric live data stream display will help you to find out the faulty sensor readings. So yeah, guys, that's all the shenanigans of the weddings in summary be, uh, between the car battery tester and the diagnostic scanner. Here are the specifications. It says... Display color is a TFT LCD screen. Operating temp is 0 to 50 degrees Celsius. Storage temp minus 20 to 70 degrees Celsius. System working voltage 6 volt to 12 volts. Input uh, voltage range 6 to 16 volt. 
power requirements no internal battery is required so just like the other one as soon as you plug in the obd2 connector this guy comes on so it runs off the power of your car so let's open this guy up and let's see what's in the box okay guys so the plastic is off let's see what we got inside the box so like that other one we are having a bag exactly the same bag as the other one that we had on the kw808 so let's open this guy up and let's see what's inside all right okay cool uh let's put it like this so we've got a little bit more equipment here and the scanner also looks a bit different than the other one the kw080 so if we open this guy here we will see that it is having an open plastic maybe it was actually open by the manufacturer or it broke i don't know but there we have the cable this connects to the scanner and this connects to your vehicle same connection from the last video if you saw that but i will also do a testing a review within the car to test hopefully it will connect to the citron we have the scanner we'll get to the scanner let's just check what other cables we have we have a that connection almost looks like a mini usb connection i'm not sure what is that for the other one didn't have this so we've got that and then we've got this one here which is then for the battery tester this you will connect here and you will connect this to your terminals your clamps to your terminals on your battery and then we also have a book a manual over here of with a bunch of words that one can go through to understand the scanner even much better and we have the scanner itself so just like the other one it's got that rubber hard rubber i must say it's not like soft rubber it's hard rubber scanner i mean the surrounding on it and you've got rubber buttons which is this feels quite nicer unlike that other one the kw808 it's got the plastic you know that plastic hard plastic that works as a button underneath the one if you use it for a very long time it's the button that starts penetrating through the through the plastic it has one of those so this one is rubber independent buttons over there and it's got an lcd screen over there you've got kunwei kunwei over there that's where you will connect your connections your serial connections and connect it to your vehicle so that's maybe tie first thing that's close by let's tie the battery tester first and see how that goes see what we can get what monitoring we can get from this guy for the battery so as for the unboxing guys that's really that so let's get to the reviewing of this kw 870 okay guys, so we have here a battery that we can test with so when you want to test the battery guys um you must make sure you know you know some some details or specifications about your battery especially your cold cranking amps so your cca you should know it in this battery it is 625 so if you want to test your battery using this kunwi or kunwei kunwi kw870 you need to make sure you know the specs of your battery what type of battery it is number one uh the cca rating or there is some other stuff let's connect it here i will show you i will show you now so that's coming on then obviously you're gonna go to your battery hope you can see there then it's gonna ask you if the, the battery 
is in the car or out of the car. So this one is out of the car. And this is a calcium battery, but there is no calcium here. And it's not an AGM, so I'm just going to say regular flooded battery. This is the things that I mean you should know because it actually this scanner uses the specifications that you are inputting to determine if your battery is actually healthy or not. So it is important for you to know exactly what your your battery is. So I'm going to say regular flooded for this battery here. And the standard you need to choose then. So the standard I'm going to use for this one because I do have the rating is the CCA, which is 625. And you have IEC, you have EN, you've got DIN, CA, BCI, MCA, SAE, and GIS. So you need to figure out what is the standard for your battery that it might have. And you select that. So I'm going to select here CCA. And like I said, this is 625. I've already put this one in here. 625 so i'm gonna select that and then it's gonna start measuring the battery so this battery of mine here i use this battery for for some backup lights and it's i've been running it low really and it's currently sitting at 10.73 volts that's very very low for the battery so batteries like this deep cycle batteries as soon as it goes less than 10 10 i think it's 10.5 volts you start damaging the cells inside. So this one already ran less than 10.5 and probably got damaged. Not necessarily damaged, but it will lessen the, the span of this battery. And this one I already checked. There's a there's a there's a there's a a clear a clear uh, plastic here that you can check if your battery is still okay or battery needs charge or battery needs replacing. As you can see here, green is okay. Black is charged battery, white is replaced battery. This one is currently green. Even though the battery is very low, it is still green. So the battery is still in good condition, but very, very low. So as soon as I charge it up, probably it will be fine again. So you can see that the voltage is 10.73. Uh, the CCA is 112 amps. The standard is 625 amp. That's what I inputted. So State of health currently 17% and the diagnostic tool is telling me that charge and retest it. So what it means is charge the battery and then retest it after that. If it's bad, it will actually tell you here replace. So there's a couple of statuses that the battery has, either very good or charge retest or replace. There's a couple of other statuses that it will tell you the state of health of your battery. And then if you go here, state of charge. So this one you can see saying 0% because it's very low on charge, this battery. So I think it will look better as soon as I fully charged this battery. And from here, you can also go click here under IM. If you go in there, it will give you a rough, a, a, a rough graph of what's happening to the battery like you can see here the max voltage that i have the unit is volt is 10.7 the minimum is 10.6 currently it's sitting at 10.7 so this one currently like i think you will see the graph move a little bit more if your battery is in the car as the alternator is charging and whatnot so you can also do uh, a couple of tests via this diagnostic tool where you can check your charge load, uh, like load when the battery is actually in the car, where you can rev the car and it will it will tell you how much you are, like the peak as you rev it and then when it idles the peak to determine where your battery is currently with load and without load and it will tell you there if everything is good or not. So it's a pretty decent tool that you can use, like for me, I deal a lot of batteries, so this is going to work for me because stuff like that will actually help me determine where I am with my battery and I can start budgeting accordingly to get a new battery and whatnot. So if you want me to show you the in-car one and a couple of tests that we can do, there's a battery test, there is a charging test, I forgot what other tests, I think it's a kinking test that we can do. 
So if you want that, you can just let me know and then I'll do those as well. I'll do a separate video for that. But yeah, guys, that is that is now the, well, what is it? A little bit of a review in terms of the charging side of this tool here. And um, regarding the car, we will do that. I'll do a separate video for that where I diagnose the car. I've already diagnosed and luckily guys, this scanner is actually working on the Citron. So if you had, if you watched my, uh, the first video regarding the KW808, you'll find that that tool couldn't scan the Citron C3 2006 model. And that's why I had it replaced for a newer version of the tool, which is this one that we have now, the KW870. And luckily guys, I have, I have already checked if it can actually, uh, uh, what is it, if it can actually detect that car and this tool here was actually able to detect that car. So luckily this one worked out and I was able to actually even read the code but I'm going to do a different video guys for that where we diagnose the, the, the car together and then try to clear off the error and yeah. We'll, I guess we'll do that day. But as for this one, guys, I think that is that. I hope you're doing good. I hope you're doing great and going for your goals. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.